What is up, everyone? It is me, Evan Shimko, with Big Baby Collectibles here with a video. We are doing a CGC unboxing. We have, what, 10 bucks? I have a lot to say. Uh, I know Foil has a lot to say. He's the one who has books. We may have another special guest coming, but what's up, Foil? Yo, mama. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it's 10 bucks CGC submission. Um... It's kind of an interesting one. Um, it's just we'll, we'll dive into it once we see it, but um, we're gonna wait a little bit until we get some peeps in here, and uh, because we want you guys to be a part of this, and um, kind of want to run a little experiment here to see. Um, it's going to be a little interesting to uh, see what's going on, but, uh, yeah, here, let's see. Um, but yeah, um, but yeah, uh, actually we'll talk a little bit about what happened a little bit. So basically we submitted 10 books. Those 10 books were champions outlawed peach Momoko one in 50, a spawn 10, a Canto number one, third printing, for Ethan's comics exclusive. We submitted three static number one collector's editions. We submitted two of the regular static number ones, a Secret Wars eight, and also a Darth Maul number two. That's what we had submitted. Now, um, our estimates were very high for these book, and some of them did get, you know, high grades. Let's be fair. Some of them did get, you know, decent grades. Oh, yeah. But um, some of these, uh, they got lower grades, which was kind of shocking to us. And, um, and for the reasons. But there are reasons why. We're not going to go over a ton in this video. Um, we are working with CGC to solve them. Um, but basically, some stuff happened, and uh, we just got lower grades than what we should have um, due to what all uh, happened. What is up, Rock City? What's up, Rock City? How's it going, man? <laughs> I know. I just decided to do the stash. I was going to do the same thing. Don't worry. <laughs> Rock City. So since you're in here, and you're the only one really chatting... Um, we're going to run an experiment, Rock City. I know you're good with CGC books, right? You, you're pretty good with CGC books and grades. Um, so, actually, you are one of the perfect people for this. Basically, we had a bunch of books sent to CGC, 10 books. Um, got some pretty decent grades. Got some bad grades. Not our fault, though. Um, and, you know, beforehand, I'll tell you guys, these books were clean and pressed. Bye, hold again. But, um, <laughs> Rock, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Alrighty, so put me up on full screen. Alrighty. Alrighty, so the first book we have is that Peach Momoko, the 1 in 50 Champions Outlawed. Take a look at it, take a glance. You know, we'll get you nice and close. <laughs> take a guess yeah. if you want, Rock. Whoever else take, is in here. Take a guess, and whoever else is in here, what do you estimate this book to be? It's a nice modern. But what do you estimate it to be? And let me know when he types. Or anyone. Or anyone, for that matter, yes. Please, play along with us. Want to get a nice corner shot? Or a spine shot. Sure. What's up, keys? Nine point eight, baby. Yeah, give me give me your estimates, guys. Because we actually generally do need your help. Yeah, well, yeah. Here, uh, yeah, just careful with your screen because it is very glary. No, I know. I'm trying to do my best. But yeah, I mean. So what did what did we say? He said 9.8. <laughs> All right, Rock City, give us your best estimate. Oh, my gosh, you're right. Yep. This is a 9.8. Uh -huh. We're All happy right. about that one. This I one mean, we're happy about. We're, we're really not. Can you tell us one? Well, us one? Yeah. If you look in the glare, you can see right there 
that there is a spine roll. It's pretty hard to tell, but they're, they're not spine roll, but... Um, lay it flat. Yeah. Uh, like, like this. Like, there is a... Yeah, a little uh, bit, yeah. There is a little bit of spine, of a reader's line, my bad, reader's line, on this book. So should it have gotten a 9.8? Probably not. But here's the it, thing. It did get a 9.8. But this book was unread, pressed, and cleaned. By Fold King Comics. Yes. This was pressed and cleaned. I live an hour and a half away from their headquarters. It doesn't have far to travel. So this is kind of uh, foreshadowing. More to come. So now I'm trying to figure out. Camera angle. <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me. There you go. This might be a little bit better. Out of the way from um, yes, what was that? Yeet. All right, so next up, we have a spawn issue number ten. Scan it up and down, and what I will say is there are two. Kill the over, kill that overhead light that's to your left. That's my like main light that's on in here. Do you have another light? No, that's literally the only one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is very yeah. good. I do gotta agree. No, it is hard, but there was about two to three color non color breaking spine ticks on this. Um, again, didn't send it in like that. It's what it came back as. But what do we guess with three color breaking spine ticks? Okay, let me see if this is even better. Yeah, it might be better. Okay, we'll see. Okay. That light was really bothering me, too. This is what I'll do. I'm going to move this whole thing. And we're going to... Oh, look at that carnage up there. Nice. Yes, sir. Oh, God. All right. Put those down. I'm actually going to drag Bob my world figuring out what he's doing with his life. Yes. This, this Sunday or this Saturday, we're going to be doing a Pokemon break. Uh, I put this on eBay. Top bidder. I'll break this on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Has one. He's going to be on the side. We're going to do split screen. We're going to do left and right. I'm going to do one. He's going to do one. I'm going to do one. He's going to do one. You guys know. What's up, everyone? All right. Now I can show you. There we go. Okay. So. This received a 9.6. It had three non-color breaking spine ticks. Um, <laughs> but yes, three color breaking, non-color breaking, my bad. And a slight reader's line, 9.6. Yeah, I can, I can see it a lot better now. His audio went out. Alrighty, how's that? That's better. Yeah, yeah, because I, I just switched it to the headset because I, I this thing is quarters in the way, yeah. and I want to make sure I stay like this. Ooh. So that received a 9.6. <laughs> Magic is better than Pokemon. <laughs> Alrighty, so next up we have Kanto number one, third printing. Off the rack. Off the rack. Not literally off the rack, but... This is completely unread, yet it has a small reader's line on it. You know. Lay it flat with the camera. It yeah, did. It. It's, it's hard. It'll wait, it's hard hold on. If you lay it flat, you see it a little bit. It's hard to tell even because oh wait a minute hold on let's get that light Ooh, okay right there right there right there right there, there. 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 Right. there you go. oh nice it's got a it's nice. got a it's got a little reader's line on it now guess the grade on it nine four says Rock City all righty guys guess the grade just the besides that sharp corners beautiful book unread has a slight has a slight reader's line to it. 9-2 or 9-4, keys to everything says 9-4. All righty, the big reveal, 9-6. Keep in mind, 
this had no reader's line going in. It was pressed and cleaned after being taken off the rack. Yes. All righty. Next up, we have Static Number One Collector's Edition. <laughs> You need to like not do that because that just ear raped me. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm sure someone else just got ear raped. But yeah, this as well has a small reader's line. Hold on. Right Try there, to... you see it a little bit. You see that when I rotate it? Fine text, but they they were never there. Like non color breakings. Yeah, there's a little bit of in for a fact. This again, and by the way, this was cut out of a poly bag. No, that one wasn't. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Was it really? Yes, you sent me. That's right. You sent me four books in poly bag. Only one of them wasn't. Okay. It was four or three. I still have them. Okay. But Roxy says nine four. Nine four. Reader's line. Which yeah. it. I agree, Zen. Nine four. Alrighty, what are we thinking? These are all pressable defects, guys. Remember that. And they all were pressed. I've yes, these are all pressed and cleaned. And me and Big Baby went over every single one of these before they went in. Mm -hmm. so, you think so the grade on this was a nine six. Yeah, which I'm happy with. It is what it is, but... I don't think it deserves it, but I'm happy with it. We still... But if it truly is... And again, guys, you know, if this is truly just because of the reader's line, then all those 9.6s need to be 9.8s, or here's that 9.8 needs to be a 9.6. Here's because my thing. That, I think, should be a 9.2, personally, because they're all... There's ticks on there, but there weren't ticks when we submitted them. Right, foiled. Uh, let me look at this one. This one you might be getting confused with the other one. No, no, no. There was a couple ticks. There were two little ones. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They were non-color breaking, but they're mm -hmm. barely there, and they're pressable. And they were pressed. And they were pressed. We went over these, like, fine uh, tooth. It was a 998 contender. And these were packed individually and then together. And I probably used about 30 to $40 worth of supplies. To make sure this wouldn't happen. Um, next up, we have another static uh, collector's edition. And not to mention, guys, these these some of these slabs are uh, scratched up. So, but we have a static number one collector's edition. Oh yeah, that's a nice little scratch on it. This too has a reader's line. Let's see if we can show that. Hold on. Right there, I saw it a little bit. There's like one tick in a reader's line. You guys can see that light, how it goes in and out right there. That's it crossing over that reader's line. How it gives that little jump. Yeah. But I believe there's also stuff down here, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check again. Oh, yep. And the corner. The corner has some funkage to it. A little bit. Of dinginess? Yeah. Hold on. You saw it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You see that? But again, ain't that pressable? Yes. Also pressable. So, Which it was. What do you guys think? Which it was press, unfortunately. So what do you guys think this one is? Should be a 9-2. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd say. Alrighty, come on, guys. Come on, Keys. Come on, Kevin. Let us know. What should this book be? Oh, 
Uh, was that okay? Nine six going by the last book. Yeah. Yeah. So this received a nine point four, which I'm happy with. Now this is where we start to go downhill for stupid reasons. Now I guarantee you, as someone who sells books and buy, buys books and trades books and does this like pretty much full time, I would never send a book like this to CGC. And I hope you guys know I would never send a book like this to CGC. But we have another static number one with Holly uh, Bag edition these collectors. Yeah, look, look, you see that um. The reader's line already? This one you can see it really nicely because it's orange. Looky there. You guys see that? You guys see that? Mm hmm. Also, a reader's line, as we can see, going up right there. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But what do you think the grade on this was, knowing there's that damage and a reader's line? And Evan, you can read it out to me. I'd say no more. I'd say more than 8 out. Okay, Rock City said, I'd say more than 8 0. Yeah. I mean. Wait, is is uh, Zen and Keys 9 0, 9 4, 9? Nah, I think that was from before. Okay, yeah. Keys and Zen. What do you think? So far, we have, I'd say no more than an 8 0. I'm going to show that green. All righty. 9 -0. You don't know how. Which, again, you guys know, I would never send a book like this. I don't know how the guy and I know. <laughs> All right. It gets really stinky. Secret Wars 8. We all know it. We all love it. Press cleaned. Fresh. Right off the press. All right, you had it for a second. There we go. You, you see it a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost there. We just got to figure out how to contort this. You have to get the light in the roll. Yeah. Almost. Right there. Oh, uh, Yep. You guys see that? Reader's line. You got it for a second. We saw it. What do you guys think? Type it real quickly. And I'll show you the rest. Nice, sharp corners. No spine ticks. No staple pull. No dirty cover. No, you know, no crap on the back. The crap, the back is beautiful as well. Nine two, Zen says. Nine two from Zen. What are you thinking, Rock City? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, guys? What's Yo, up, what's the left here? Nine six. Nine six. Alrighty. Nine two. Kid Collector, what grade do you think this is? It has nothing but a small nothing but a small a uh, reader's line to it. Fresh from CGC. There you go. Boom. Right there. You see that line. Nine four, K Collector said. Nine four. Ready? We got a nine L. Not a kick on that for book. Just for just the reading line, which I pressed out before I even sent it, which I went over with the person that had me sent this out and with Big Baby. Yeah. I mean, all these books, they were there was one book which we knew wasn't gonna hit above an eight five. Yeah, we knew it was but gonna be a what book that is. Yeah, but it hit way lower than we thought. Yeah, we were expecting it to be an 8.5, and um, at the least, and uh, it, it, um, mm -hmm. 8.085 ish, but um, but yeah, now going on, 
Was that white or off white? The Secret Wars. All, everything's white. Okay. Yep, white pages. Everything in this thing was white. So here we go. This should be pretty easy to see. Yeah, you can see that spine roll. Look at there. Yeah. And then you can see that corner. Yep. Look at that corner. Now, me personally. Where you collector. And, and I'll tell you the greatest notes on this. Um, and I'll tell you the greatest notes. The greatest notes on this was uh, light staple tear. Light bends to cover, which refers to this right here, sure. and then that little corner. Now I will show you the staples. Um, yeah, this guy has to be smoking crack, cause uh, I don't know about you guys. Come on, you see that? That's clear. Where are those? Where are those tearing staples that he's talking about? Those staples aren't tearing at all. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Now I know. So what are the what are the uh Rock City says a nine O. Nine O. Okay. What do we have? What do we have, guys? It could be on the inside. Tears. Uh no, it wasn't on the inside. I went through all these books. Um and on CGC, they they clarify that too. Uh, so if the grader didn't clar clarify that, that's on him. But um, but yeah, I went through all these books and I didn't see one tear. Which this one also came out of a poly bag. Mm -hmm. Fresh, unread. So and it has a reader's line, guys. I showed that to you. Eight five to nine zero, nine zero maybe. All righty, big reveal. Eight zero. Oof is right. Now keep in mind, I believe six or seven of these. We'll go over it at, at the end. We'll go over it at the end. Now here's our last two books. Here's here's this one. Another the last static. <laughs> So as we saw, this is the one we thought would be an eight, eight out, eight five. Yes, it's kind of hard to see right now. I'm trying to get that bottom corner right. Here, hold on. Yeah, this one doesn't even have that bad of a reader's line. Actually, it has a small one, but it's kind of hard to tell. That's why I'm having difficulty. You can see it some there. It's not as bad as some others. And then this right corner. You see that right there. Boom. Yep. Right there. Which still is pressable. And, and it's not pressed. that bad. And it was pressed. Yeah, every book in this lot was clean and pressed. Which there was nothing on the graders notes about these being dirty or anything either. So... Just letting you guys know that. But what do you think this grade was? No, Zen, you're not off, and we'll explain. Um, but yeah, tell us what you guys think this is. It has a small reader's line, and it has that corner. Ooh, there you go. You can see it right there. Yeah. Which... This could not have happened in packaging because the amount of uh, bubble wrap that I used to cushion these to make sure there was no corner bang um, was pretty insane. Like, I literally used half a spool. 9-2, Kid Collector said. 9-2 from Kid Collector, Zen, and Rock City. Kid Collector, I can't sell these. That's how upset I am. They were, but I don't know. I feel bad selling these. If you understand what I mean. Zen, Rock City, let us know. Right there. There's a beauty shot. Nice. Show the back of that book, too.
clean as can be. Oh. Oh. No, that was because of the case. It looked like a reader's line, but that wasn't even the spine. Yeah. But this, the yeah. back is clean as can be. Zen said 8.6. Kid Collector said 9.2. Is Rock City still in here? I don't know. But <laughs> Let's see how many viewers we have. I don't know. We have three watching. That's okay. 8.6. What do you think? Want to show the grade? Yeah, let's um hold on two seconds. I want to make sure and see. Oh, we have plenty of viewers. I'm in here. Rock City, give us your approximate grade, bud. Approximate grade. There you go. I'll show you the money shot. I'll show you the money shot. The Bam. Fun. Right there. Approximate grade with a small reader's line. What do you think, Rock? I already did. This is a new book. Scroll, scroll up. Oh, if no. So we have eight, six, nine, two, nine. No, this is another copy. This is another copy. Rock. <laughs> this is the final static. There, there were three of these. Reason this is what, two of the others. This is yeah. the last static. No. This is a completely different book. No color breaking, but dense. Yeah. No, no color breaking. Eight zero. Alrighty. This received a 7.5. Now, what I will tell you, slight bends to cover, slight bends to cover, slight staple tear. So by that judgment, you're telling me that slight bends to cover is two points? Come on. We saw books like that that are, you know, Let's let's go back and revisit to our good old nine our nine zero. Come on, guys! Like, here's our nine zero copy with bends to the cover. Nine zero, and it has a worse reader's line. Come on. And then, uh, last but not least, we have a beautiful. Darth Maul number two. This is the first Cad Bane. Um, that just murdered my ears. <laughs> um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Here is Darth Maul number two. Now, the greatest notes for this were moderate bends to cover, moderate staple tear. Um, I'm showing you guys exactly like the other book. I can't even barely see a, find a reader's line on this thing, first of all. I'm trying from all angles that we've used tonight to see the other ones. Nothing. Sharp corners, sharp everything. There might be a little, a little something, but this book was also clean and pressed, unread, off the rack, the original rack. So, what do you guys think this came back as? After this book, I'm going to show you guys why I'm mad, by the way. Not mad, upset. Key Collector City 590. I would think. Sorry, guys. I'm just responding to some messages here. And, guys, if you haven't checked out Key Collector's channel, he's got some really good stuff. He's a... Uh, him and the Power Pack have a podcast every Sunday around dinner time. And, um, oh, yeah. Key Collector, if you want to talk CGC with me, because I know CGC and Key Collector, I'm not a big fan of, dude. I am not. 
All right. Well, what watch. are the what are the eight five to nine zero? Mm -hmm. Rock City said more like eight zero. They really hammer staple staple tears. Oh, here, let me show you because these staples look even better on the one that say light. Let me show you. These staples look even better, first of all, than the other one. There's no denying it. And it's on black. This was not on black. So this should show everything. Not to mention there's dust in these cases and they're scratched. Like, come on. <laughs> I love it. Kid Clock, me and Dad talk about this stuff one day because I go on the biggest CGC lands. So, so Zen in Rock City, what do you guys think? Oh, man, that's great. I love it. What do you guys think? We showed you. I literally showed you every angle. I mean, there's nothing on the other side either. Get the light over there. Nothing. 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 So what are you guys thinking? I said 8.0 to 8.5. Okay, Zen, you still in here? I want to see how many viewers we have. He po he possibly left. That's okay. It says we have five now. Zen said 8-0. 8-0 to 8-5, Rock City said. And Kid Collector said 8-5 to 9-0. This is a whopping, a whopping, and I read you the greatest notes, and that's all of them. Moderate staple tear, not true. Moderate bends to cover, not true. This got a 6-5. 6-0, my bad. 6-0. You've been foiled again is exactly right. A 6-0. Now tell me this doesn't look better than this static that had... Hold on, we'll see. Which I'm not dogging on this on static, uh, big baby, because this is your book. But I'm not dogging on it, but like... Oh, I know. There you go. There's the light. You see that bottom right corner. You see all of that. And then you see this right corner. Nothing. And by the way, that little that little flare up you see is a big is a big scratch on the uh, on the case. There you go. There's that corner. Nothing. And this got a six zero. Um. We'll go a little bit more into detail. Um, we are working with CGC. Um, the lady who's helping me, she's very, very nice and very courteous. Um, but we are working with her, and uh, we're seeing if we can have something happen. Um, you know, it's it's a shame that this happened, but um, uh, you know, it's just re it really bums us out to. You know, get these slabs back and only hit one 9.8. And the 9.8 didn't even deserve a 9.8 because it still had a reader's line. And that kind of shows, you know, we are grading this fairly because we said the 9.0 didn't deserve a 9.0, first of all. The 9.8 doesn't deserve a 9.8. The 9.4 and 9.6 really probably don't deserve a 9.4, 9.6. They probably deserve 0.2 under, you know. The Darth Maul compared to the the 6.0 compared to the 9.0, I mean, come on. Show the like, champions. Oh. Now, now, here's why I'm mad. All right, I think one something happens in CGC's process with the books, and two, we fast track them, and it took so long. Yeah, do we fast track these? These took a very long time. I'm not gonna um, say right now. Yeah, we'll. 
if this doesn't get solved, then we'll reveal a lot more. And, um, you know, but CGC is working with us. And if you guys do know anyone at CGC, please send them this link and have them watch this video. Cause this is an ongoing thing, not only for us, but for a lot of other people there, you can see that reader's line on it. And I've had bad CGC experience before. So I gave them a chance. I figured, Hey, why not? There you go. You can see that reader's line yeah. a little bit. This didn't deserve a nine, eight. And I'm just being flat out honest. And, you know, uh, but I will tell you right now, um, that one, two, three, four, five. Let me put these down here. Oh, cause I don't want to pile this all up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these books, seven out of ten, were unread off the rack. Part of them in poly bags. Yeah, Joey's thing took him three months, and he fast-tracked him. Yeah, tell him why you mad, son. Uh, yeah, we did. Um, I spoke with the lady. She had me send her pictures. Um, you know, and we get it. Mistakes happen, right? That's why we're not sitting here going full blast on them. Um, I we get it. Mistakes happen. You know, if you if you ding up our book, tell us. Press the book or don't even tell us. Press the book out and see if it is even noticeable. Because you, you can fix things just by pressing it out. Everything we saw was pressable. Now I know you guys are like, oh, maybe you're just a terrible presser. Um, that's really not the case. Um, I could show you a book right now that was at a 5.5, I believe it was. That, you know, I ran this through a first press. And just to let you know, guys, this has been about a month, a month and a half since I pressed this book. And you can see it is still looking nice. You guys can see it has a small, very small, but... You cannot tell me this book still looks like a 5.5. No one can tell me it looks like a 5.5. I cleaned and pressed this book. It was dirty as all get out. And actually, yeah, technically you weren't even seeing the reader's line because there is no reader's line. I mean, like, this was pressed a month ago, a month and a half. So they can't sit there and tell me, Oh well, you know, you know, if you press your book and waited or it's been sitting, you know, it's like, no, this was pressed a month, a month and a half ago, and it still looks as good. So tell me how, you know, that could have happened. And I live an hour and a half away from their headquarters. So, you know, we're not going full blast on them. We get it, mistakes happen. It is what it is. It's comics, right? It's paper. But you know, the fact that these came back at the grades they did, um, you know, it's just a little ridiculous. And it's way too inconsistent of grading. And like we said, guys, even the 9.8s, even the 9.8s didn't deserve um, to be a 9.8. And that's just us being honest and having, you know, our morals and our ethics. You know, the 9.6 and the 9.4, to be honest, they didn't deserve that 9.6, 9.4. The 9.0. Until the we got the CGC, I feel. I mean, if that's the only thing wrong with them, and I pressed and cleaned them, and we saw them, they should have been 9.8s. This was a batch that we were even thinking pre-screening 9.8. Mm -hmm. So this, you know, it just goes to show. It just goes to show what can happen. Um, you know, but it is what it is. Now, I'm just going to show you. I've only graded four comics in my life. I've sold three of them. I'm going to be completely honest. I graded this guy up here. It took forever. CGC. I want to say upwards of five, six months. Non pre screened, non pressed, non cleaned. But it is a nice book. It's my first ever book. So I figured I'd grade it. Was it pressed and cleaned? No. no. No, it has not been. So I've, the past year, only bought CGC books. That's just how low I trust them. 
Yeah, so and I mean, press back, and I tried with this submission, and right now it's not working with me. Yeah, um, for us, you know, we're not gonna sit here and dwell on this. You know, I emailed the lady; she's being super nice. Um, she's very understanding, and you know, for that, we're thankful that she's. Uh, you know, we are very thankful that she is working with us to um, to write this. And, uh, you know, we get it. It's not her fault. She's customer service. But, um, but yeah, we, we explained to her, you know, what needs to happen and uh, what we would like to happen. And Do you have a uh, picture of the Conan? No, I don't have a picture of the Conan. We also um, submitted a Conan number one to Barbarian. It was my I got it for a beautiful price, steel. So if you're going to want to send to CGC, it came back a little grade. Which... But- it came back what we were pretty much expecting between a 4.0 and a 5.0. It came back a 4.0. Um, but for the price I paid, I wasn't going to pass it off. Yeah, and it's to be honest, for that book, it was a pretty fair grade, we oh, yeah. think. Um, you know, it was a different tier and stuff, and it, you know, but it's just, uh, I think it was, uh, that was a fair grade. But, you know, this whole submission, the all the 10 of these books, you know, I think they're all off. And, um, Except the Conan. Except the Conan. And uh, I went as far as to even offering to pay for the pressing as long as they will regrade these for us um, and using their service. Um, you know, I, I even did that. So we do understand things happen, you know, oh, yeah. but it's always good to not jump to conclusions right away. And um, just yeah, so definitely. Um, you know, just be smart with these things if they do ever happen to you. And, um, you know, we'd love to keep doing business. You know, we plan on keep doing business, but, you know, as of right now, you know, we're, we kind of have to look at it and see, uh, you know, what's really happened and uh, if they can really resolve this. Because if they don't resolve this, you know, we might not be using CGC again. There's plenty of other options like uh, CBCS and EGS, which EGS does beautiful custom we'll talking about that labels. next week. Um, yeah, you're going to see us uh, talk about some EGS stuff and CBCS and CGC. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just it's gorgeous. And uh, what what we can do when it comes to grading books and, you know, how books look in a slab, but you know, if the book's not given the right grade that it should have been, and, you know, we're not expert graders, but, you know, we've been doing comics for a little bit. A lot of these other guys, including you guys, like Rock City and stuff, guys who really, you know, dive deep into CGC books and stuff too and getting them slabbed and, you know, Zen, I don't know about you, but, you know, we're, uh, you know, we've done this for a little bit. And, uh, you know, I've had things with way more stuff on them, uh, that got, that got, uh, higher grades than some of these. So it's just a little ridiculous that this happened, but like we said, we're not going to go too, too far into this. Um, but all in all, um, I'd say I'm 50, 50, I'm 50% happy with some of these grades, 50% unhappy. Um, but yeah, we're definitely seeing what can happen. And, uh, I honestly hope you guys can, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, cool. You have the, uh, Conan picks. That's, that's the pre pressing clean. That photos. was the, that was the pre pressing clean photos. Um, yeah. Awesome book. So I figured I'd show you guys that. Yeah, that's, that's what we have, but that was the pre, um, yeah, definitely are going to look, I'm going to look forward and, you know, but, uh, you know, I'll still have my CGC account. I'll still submit for people, but, um, you know, it kind of scares me to sit there and submit more when, you know, we got our books back worse than they, we submitted them. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, we're not going to rant on really too much longer, but, um, yeah, we just wanted to give you guys that short, uh, video and, um, hopefully, you know, hopefully someone in, from key collector and, uh, from CGC, well, I guess key collector more for you. But CGC, um, I hope someone from CGC watches this and uh, really sees, you know, how conflicted we are and, you know, what we're going through. And we're not the only ones. Um, CGC, I wanted to send Pokemon out. Now, now I'm very skeptical. Yeah. Uh, um, it's hard. It's hard. 
yeah. Pokemon, I'm still going to give a chance, you know, no matter what. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just tough. How many did you press yourself? Um, I pressed all 10 of those myself. I pressed all 10 of those books myself. And I went over them with Big Baby. I went over them with Am Cam. I went over them with J1A Bob. I went, we went through it with people who have submitted hundreds upon thousands of books to CGC. And none of them had reader lines. None of them had those spine ticks. First off, if I would have showed them books like that, they would have screamed my head off. They would have said, why would you send that? Why do you have that? Yes. They're very straightforward. Us sellers are very, you know, we're very forward with each other about, you know, like why in the world would you ever do that? Like, <laughs> so I would have never been able to send those books out like that. And that's just me personally. I would have never been able to sell, send a book out like that. Like this book, you guys see it's pretty nice. This was a 5.5. Five. I'm still not happy with it. There's still some little things I want to get out. But, you know, you guys can see this is a gorgeous book. I'm still not done with it. And I've turned this in, you know, into a higher grade. And this was a 5.5, five, you know. So I can't really uh, – it might have even been like a 6 or something. But still, that book doesn't look like it should get that. And, you know, I'm still not happy with it. And to say that I brought it, you know, that far along, um, you know, really says a lot. And, uh, yeah, I could, I could never submit a book like that. And I tell you what, it makes it really tough to send out this book as well. This makes it really tough because now I'm conflicted about what might happen to this. After our video yesterday, I'm a little skeptical even. Yeah, but um, it's just really tough. And I really, if you guys do know someone at CGC, again, please tag them, send them this video. Um, you know, and it's not that we hate CGC and we're anti CGC. It's just we're disappointed. Um, and we hope that they do write this. So, you know, the late, like you said, the lady's being nice. Uh, wait for her last name is Hudlow. Um, but uh. Yeah, she's being super nice, super helpful, and, um, you know, hopefully this does get resolved. Because if it doesn't, I mean, you know, we know a couple of people that really went through this book and are, you know, now considering not using CGC anymore. And, you know, there's also people that we know that are not using CGC anymore because of things like this. So mm -hmm. we hope it can get resolved. All we are asking is that we get the books pressed and regraded, um, you know, because I spent, I, I don't even remember how many hours into these book, how many days. I think I spent close to two weeks just on those books to make sure they were CGC ready, doing long, nice presses and uh, making sure there was absolutely nothing wrong. Um, you know, and it's just, it's just ridiculous that, uh, you know, we would sit there and put to the trash basically. Yeah. I mean, Not at this point, some of these books, we'd, you know, get a, get more money selling them raw. Yeah. What's up collectors den? That's it. Unfortunately. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Collectors den, you'll have to rewatch the video again, but, um, all in all, I'd say we're 50-50 on this uh, CGC submission. Um, but, I mean, we have a whole another CGC submission almost ready. You know, we're pressing and cleaning. Um, I'm going to be sending out this one tomorrow. I'm going to stay up tonight and finish it. I'm sending this one out tomorrow by itself um, to see what happens. And, uh, you know, I'm really hoping that things work out. I'm going to give CGC one try with my first submission. After that, they they come back all screwed up. Two things are going to happen. One, <laughs> I'm going to go on a huge rant on Power Pack 2. <laughs> uh, CGC will lose my business. Yeah, I mean, I hate to do it, man, because here's why. I'm going to explain why. CGC graded books own the market of grading books. Yeah, they are like the grading company and to the okay. fact that you know they set the standard 
sure, sure. 10 20 percent less than a cgc book unfortunately yeah and they just kind of set the standard and you know for us to sit here and you know have hundreds and thousands of people know that we would never submit a book like this you know and that these books didn't go like this is you know pretty insane and, and I will and I will take pictures of the Avengers book. I will post it on Instagram and we will see um, when it comes back. We'll see how it looks. Um, and uh, you know, we're gonna see what happens because if it comes back all messed up again after how I send it, you know, we're gonna have some issues. and I guarantee you I'm not gonna be the only one after them. Because it, you know, it's getting a little ridiculous. We see people having this issue time and time again, and you know, we're kind of tired of it as a comic community of having to deal with this. <laughs> yep, and that's, that's <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Oh uh, man! Oh, collector's den. I'm looking for a book you may have, big baby. Oh, DM me, bud. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> guys, if you could get deals with CGC books, like I do, I comic. That's why I go to comic shows. Bulk out on my CGC books while I'm there, because I know I'm not going to use them a lot, and unfortunately, that's what I gotta do. Yeah. But, and if know. they're and if they're upsetting the young generation like this, you know, then you know by the time you know if we have stores and we're wanting to send thousands of books, like we're not sending it to CGC. No. Like we're sending it to CBCS, we're sending it to EGS. We yeah. might even be sending it to another company, PSA or Beckett. Yeah, PSA or GMA. The GMA for Pokemon. It's it's upsetting yeah. and um. Yeah, but again, we're not going to go on too much longer. Um, that's just kind of our overall thoughts and uh, pretty much what happened with this submission. Um, this is definitely something that. We're going to update you guys on what happens and, um, you know, hopefully things do work out. Well, thank you all for coming in. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your comments. I love the comments because yes. I love the, hearing different minds think. Me, you. I want to have you guys in the chat come in a video, um, come have interview people, see what they collect, you know, just do different things, try different things out. We want to do a game maybe one day. Me and yeah. I know we want to have other people from the, the uh, meta panel on here. We want to do a lot. I am doing another video on Thursday, my comic pickups. I don't know if you'd like to join me or any of you guys in the chat. And then Saturday, I'm doing – I'm breaking this bad boy. So Nice. Yep. And I hopefully will have mine by then. He might be breaking it with me. Mine. I have another – I have a booster box on the way, and uh, we're going to try to pull up some bangers. Mm -hmm. So – um. Hopefully uh, they come in and uh, we'll have not just 36 packs. We're going to have 78 packs, which would be awesome. So definitely stay tuned for that. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace, y'all. Peace. Love.